guys, welcome to my channel. If you're here from my last Stitch Fix video, then welcome back. Today I am doing another Stitch Fix video. I just got my box. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm really excited to try on the clothes and show you guys what I got. So if you haven't tried Stitch Fix yet, maybe this will inspire you to give it a shot. I did take a peek at what's inside my box on the app that I have on my phone. You can kind of do a sneak peek, which I didn't used to do, but for the last three or four fixes I have been. Now that I know that I can do it, it's kind of hard not to, it's just really tempting. So I have an idea of what's in the box, but oftentimes even when I have looked on the app on my phone, I'll see something and think that I won't like it, but then when I see it in person or try it on, I actually do, or sometimes vice versa. So. I mean, that's the thing about Stitch Fix, you really have to get the items and try them on with other things that you have in your wardrobe already. And you guys can leave some comments down below, let me know if you like something, if you think I should keep it, because obviously I haven't even tried anything on yet, so last video I already knew what I was keeping and not keeping, this time I'm not sure, so let me know what you guys think. Alright, let's try on some clothes. This first top is from Collective Concepts and it's called the Yule Split Neck Top. I really like the pattern and the mix of colors with the navy blue and the white and especially the pop of green because green is my favorite color. It's really nice, it's not too wide which was an issue with some of the pieces in my last fix and I really like this one. This is the 41 Hawthorne Dawny Scallop Trim Blouse. I love this blouse. I think my stylist has learned by now that I'm a sucker for anything navy blue so this is no exception, I love it. I really like the cut on the front. I have a thing for v-necks. I think they're just more flattering on me. The scallop trip on the sleeves is a really nice detail, and I think this is just a great versatile top that you can dress up or down. It's classic, timeless, and right up my alley. These Dana colored skinny jeans from Cut From The Cloth say toothpick jean on the back, and they're not kidding. These are so skinny and so tight, and I'm really not into that. They do that thing where they bunch around the knees because they're so tight, and I hate that. They're also kind of wrinkly down around my ankles, and you can't really see it on camera, but in person you can also clearly see the outline of the pockets because they're so tight on my hips and thighs, and that's another pet peeve of mine. Um, it's also kind of pulling a little bit in the crotch area. I don't know. I like the color. They're actually hot pink, though the color is a little off on camera. And I don't own a pair of colored denim, but I think I either needed a bigger size or a different style because skinny jeans are just not it for me. I really do prefer a straight leg or a bootleg, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Maybe you'll see something that I don't see. Just realized I have no clips of this piece where I'm not talking through the try-on. Oops! Okay, so this is a good example of one of those things that I had peeked at on the app and I saw it and I thought that I was going to hate it and then I put it on and I actually kind of like it. I'm a little on the fence about it, I'm not sure about the print and the sleeves are a little awkward. They're elastic but they're, they're big so they don't actually hold my arms and I'm not really sure if I would want to push them up or not. I mean, I guess I could do whatever I wanted. And there's a little bit of extra fabric up here, like right under my arms that I'm not sure that I love. But I do kind of like how the neck is a little bit wider. It's not a complete boat neck, so I can still wear a bra, which is great. I don't know if you can see how long it is. Um, it goes to just the top of my knees. And I'm 5'8", so just, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that for reference. Okay, so I thought that I would try one of her style suggestions on for you guys, and I definitely like the dress better with the jacket on. I think it just kind of breaks up some of that floral pattern that's all over the dress, and it hides the sleeve issues. And it is a nice dress because it can definitely transition into fall really nicely. It does have the longer sleeves, it is a nice length. It cinches at the waist, which is nice, so it doesn't make me look huge. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm not sure what to do, help! Last we have the Marigold Textured Knit Dress from Mystery, and this dress is so cute and so flattering. It actually looks way better in person than it's coming across on camera, but I love this. The v-neck, the little hint of a sleeve, the way it comes in at the waist and then flares out, it's all very me. This is a smidge longer than the other one, so it hits right at my knees, and it's a little bit big in the waist, so I could take it in if I wanted it to be that much more fitted, but I really like this. I think I'm going to keep it. Okay guys, so that's it for the items that I was sent in my Stitch Fix box this month. 
This was my 13th fix. Again, leave comments below. Let me know what you think that I should keep or not keep. This is the problem with having the same stylist multiple times. As they get to know you and they keep styling you and reading your feedback, they start to send you more and more pieces that you really, really love, and then you start spending more and more money. <laughs> on clothing that maybe you don't really need but seriously uh, i think my stylist is great i'm definitely going to request her again for my next fix and if you do sign up for stitch fix you can use my referral link down below and make sure that you request lauren when you sign up if you like the clothing that you've seen me try on so far i'll be sure to leave links to everything that i can in the description bar below so check there for more information about sizing and prices and links to my other videos Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not and if you're so inclined, I'd be happy to have you. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a new series that I'm planning on doing on my channel. I'm doing a whole declutter series, I'm off for the summer, and I really want to take some time to get my life back in order before I have to go back to school in the fall. So definitely stay tuned for that, check back for more videos, subscribe if you're not so that those videos automatically pop up in your subscription feed and you don't miss anything. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.